All right. Cool. Legion's going back. Let's go to camp. Getting a little bit low on water-ish. Dory Leon. So can I buy slaves yet? Says there's 15. I'm an idiot. I wasn't choosing what to drink for them. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 15? Sure. could trade some rations for medicine. Since medicine's abundant here. Very scarce. So I could also trade for some denarii too. I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm so bad at this game right now. Please. Anyone new? I don't think so. There's still no one with archery. Excuse me. I could drop uh, Yulia off here. Oh, and I don't have anyone in the barracks or the speculatory tent. Agreeable. Scout. I'm trying to remember what we need, what's good for the speculatory tent. It's this, right? Freeloader. Free tactical item replenishments by one when assigned to your tent. Recruiter. Bestia is a recruiter. Okay, let's put Bestia here. Put Mr. Hop in here. And Yulia can can chill in the dispensary. It's like I've got more items also. Apparently, the whole army just split up. Half of them just gave up and went home. Wired. Made something. The Legati. Oh, free replenishes. Three. Okay, cool. Free. Oh. Who's executed some kind of diplomatic upgrades? Aha! Bath. Leave a Praetorian here to boost her approval up to appalled if it is dropped below that level. Upgrade to raise the threshold to disgruntled. Okay. A bath. Hesitant. Loyal. Pleased. Indifferent. Pleased. I don't think anyone's below... <laughs> I don't think anyone... This doesn't sound like anything below appalled. Masterstroke. And pulled the rug out from under that whole alliance. That's incredible. Nothing can stop us from winning this war now. Hell yeah. I do want to... Get some more troops. Because we lost some in those battles.
How do I do that again? Replenish. Let's get a thousand. I feel like money money comes pretty easy. Wait, oh, there's the bat. I just visited the new baths last night. Oh, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw what they built. The new Legatus really is looking out for us, huh? Oh, it's better than the bathhouses back home, to tell you the Hell truth. Hell yeah! Where's... Do I need to build the barracks? I guess? Or not the barracks, the, uh, the workshop. Uh, the blacksmith or whatever. Factory f a forge. Craft Praetorian items up to tier two. So armory is what, what I need next. So I need an iron mine and a tannery. Okay. I get it. Our water is almost up to full. There's a tannery. And there's an iron mine. Okay. Let's go get this stuff. The arrow's leveled up. Oh. So I got experience from that. Medic. Revive, definitely. Which means I need to set that skill. Soothe pain. Oh, we definitely want soothe pain. Wait, where's revive? Uh, bring incapacitated target back in action with 25% health. There's no revive. Do I need to unequip this? I'm confused. Or is it just, um... It's just a general skill. It looks like. Yeah, okay. Just like these are. So it doesn't matter what weapon I have equipped, I'm gonna have those just from, from the skills. These are the stuff. These are weapon skills. Okay. Got it. Gradually figuring stuff out. I guess what I'll do is I'll check out this area next. We're at the edge of the map on this side. And there's no attacks coming up. A rodent menace. Rodents are a problem everywhere in the world, it seems. As mealtime rolls around again and you open your rations, you find that several of the sacks have been gnawed upon by tiny teeth, their contents eaten. You would think that all these stray cats you see everywhere in Greece would help you out with this, but it seems the locals keep them well fed. And then why should they bother hunting mice? I lost food. And to tannery. Let's go for the mine next. Quarry. Okay, hold on. Milestone. One, zero hours, 58 minutes, 1,200. 25 slaves. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. There's, it's actually a battle. Okay. Okay. Gaius is hesitant. This looks really good, though. High 50% uh, insubordination risk, but like, oh. Look at how high that is. But it looks like Gaius is going to get a chance with that come hither to you smile. <laughs> I don't, not very not a lot of people in this game look very trustworthy. Look at this guy. Uh, oh, I could probably I wonder if I can rename these guys also. I, I forgot to check. I will next time. OK, we're going to go with Gaius Arpinius. Which formation shall we use? Right now, our morale is army morale is twelve. Got no risk. So we got maniple channels. Leave open the channel between your maniples. Okay. We're gonna have some yeah some injured um, legionari, but our play aggression goes up. Protected flank. Lower risk. Extended line. Player defense versus the Cantarians minus 10%. I feel like I keep trying this and it doesn't work that well. Let's lower risk. Protected flank. Enemy strength is 1322. The morale is 11. Experience is 7. Our experience is zero still. Are we getting experience or is it commander experience that that's based on? Maybe it's because I just hired some new people. Minus 25 manpower right off the bat. Good start. And we missed both of our defenses. <laughs> so minus 75. I'm so bad at this. But they got minus 63 from attrition. And we missed out on the attacks. Never have archers. But they lost 20 to attrition. One attack completed because we have infantry special in, infantry specialization. And minus 27 enemy attrition. Missed both our attacks. I've never seen this icon. So I don't know if he's the best person to lead an attack. Minus 35 attrition to the enemy. We got one attack once again from infantry specialization. The men are close enough to engage. Hmm. Let's go with Thropila. Enemy manpower is going to take a hit. We approached uh, defensively. And now they're in range. We throw the Pila. Oh, we've already got them into the scatter threshold. We got one defense from infantry again. We got it. Manpower minus 24. No defense. We lost 107. Ugh. And another 25 to attrition. One out of two defense. That's good. I lost nothing. And they lost 34 to attrition. Missed both attacks again. The weather is changing for the worse. The weather is changing. The battle has worn on for some time and the weather is beginning to change for the worse. This could provide an opportunity for you. Hmm. I'd like, yeah, I'd like to hunker down because we're already within range. So if we can increase morale, that would be good. They got minus 33 from attrition. We missed both defenses. And we lost 59 to attrition. But we defended with our staff thing. I don't know what that is. I can't remember what that is. I think support. They lost 72 and plus 22% loot range. Missed both attacks though. They lost 47 to attrition. And we 
got one attack due to support. 50% loot range. 56 to attrition. We lost 56. And we defend with our support. Victory has been achieved. Their will to fight is broken. Oh, I see. Show mercy. That increases our manpower. We are going to celebrate. We want our morale to be as high as possible. And the enemy forces were fully destroyed, everybody. Uh, we lost 589, but we gained 50 in morale. No army experience, apparently. But we did get 21 denarii, 13 slaves, and 43 rations, and we got two loot caches. Ooh, assassin garb. Oh, five shield strength. That's pretty good, I think. It's a good shield. Gained iron mine one, slaves, denarii. Let me take a look at that shield. Yeah, that's what I thought. Critical damage three, base damage three to four, critical chance three percent. I like it. And what do we have again? All attacks applied harried, which inflicts minus 10 morale and minus 25% to all damage dealt by the target. And then we'll give um, Quinctus the... Uh, I guess not. I guess the shield's good. Dinosaur? So we just had a shitty <laughs> shield equipped. <laughs> okay. Oh, we never grabbed this. Or does, or does, I guess maybe stuff like reappears as the day goes on. Fifty XP. Hey, Lovelock's leveled up. Bunch of people leveled up. It actually doesn't show when you've got a level. Uh, No, it doesn't. When you have unspent points. Okay, are we going to go Vanguard, I guess? Applies defending to self. All resistances are set equal to the value of the highest resistance. And, uh, and maximum resistance is increased by 10%. Movement reduced by 3. Plus 20% shield damage when at full shield strength. The next time we'll be able to take Taunt or Adrenaline Junkie. Plus 50% damage when health is less than 25% of health maximum. Taunt seems good. Uh, Queso leveled up. I think we are going to go with Defender. Go Brace. No one else leveled up. Okay. Or maybe the people back in Captain. Oh, an observatory. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Perfect. There's an enemy uh, legion over here. Or uh, there's an outpost, I should say. So I think we should send them over. Enemy army strength 1,910. Should be easy. And then we'll have uh, established a foothold in Asia Minor. Well, I guess we're going to have to pacify it first. But you know what I mean. Uh, did I not pick this up? Toxotes equipment. 
floor and that stuff. Guess I'll go to the... I'll save the well. We've got lots of water. There isn't like an attack coming or anything. Oh, looking good. I could save the well for when I go up there later. Medicus equipment. Cool. So many things to craft in this game. I'm not sure if there's anything else for us to grab right now. Another battle. Who's going to be the best to choose this time? Could be Gaius again. There's a higher insubordination risk, but survival chance is higher. And these are about the same. The manpower retained and loot amount is about the same with these three. Let's go Marcus this time. I don't know if it's better to like focus on one person or have different people take over. Let's just let's just let's go Gaius, even though hesitant. How should we position the troops? We have to I actually have to do quite a bit of damage. Weak center. Protected flank. Do we want the enemy to be more aggressive? Let's do protected flank, because this is already at five percent and two point five percent. Nice loot range already and minus thirty four to attrition. We missed both of our attacks though. Lost 17 to attrition. Missed both of our defenses. Minus 93 manpower. But they lost 21 to attrition. Succeeded on one attack. It did 108 manpower damage. We lost 27 to attrition. This is kind of cool, but I kind of wish like we could set formations and stuff before just to make it a little more interesting. We lost 48 to attrition and another 22. We missed both defenses and lost 141. Oh, no. Our Legion has engaged the enemy. I'm going to have to get aggressive, I think. I think we're going to charge. Charge! Minus 43 to attrition. We lost. We succeeded in our defense, though. Now it's time to go on the attack. Yes, minus 71 to attrition and loot range went up quite a bit. No, we missed our attacks. That was our chance. We lost 42 to attrition. We defended, though, with our support ability. And they lost 23 to attrition. I don't know if we're going to get them past that mark. If we keep missing our attacks, we're not going to get there. Lost 31 to attrition. Oh, double defense. The changing for the worse. We could uh, increase our Legion morale. Divide and conquer. I don't care so much about loot. I 
I think we go our own effort. We gotta we gotta strike hard to get them into that uh, scatter threshold. Your own effort. We lost 37 to attrition, but we're being aggressive. Successfully defended using our support ability, but took 30 to attrition. Oh, we missed both defenses and lost 89. Not maybe this wasn't the best choice, but they lost 45 to attrition. We're not doing any damage. We're just losing to attrition. Yes, a successful support attack. Increased loot range, which I didn't care about. They take 85 to attrition. Oh, they're within range, scatter range. And we succeeded another attack with our infantry. Oh yeah, it's working. Minus 26 to attrition as well. We're well past the range now. But we miss both of our attacks, but that's okay. As long as we defend. Victory! Let's celebrate. The enemy forces were fully destroyed. Victory achieved again. And Gaius's levels going up. I don't know why. Like, I don't know how it determines who else gets experience. And now our army experience is at nine. But I assume if we recruit more people, it's going to go down again, right? I didn't, I didn't keep track when I recruited people before, but we recruited quite a few and it went down, back down to zero. Our morale's at 37. We lost 760 though, so we took a lot of damage. 33 denarii, 8 slays, 16 rations. And we got a loot cache as well. That was quite good. I was concerned we weren't going to completely rout them, but uh, it worked out. So to pacify the region, we have to go here. Or up here. Oh, I see. This is part of the same region. Ninety-two percent chance. Ninety-two. Is there a closer one? Let's go to this one. Okay, what else can we do while we're on or exploring? I guess I'll go up here. Little legions heading out. Sector conquered. Six of nine sectors pacified now. Solidify your hold on Asia Minor. Get this lumber mill. One thousand four hundred seventy one. Once again, I think Gaius might be the best choice. A little hesitant. You think he'd be happy with all the commanding he's been doing? Let's go. Uh, maybe Manius, the loot amount. Insubordination risk is so high, though. Disgruntled. We are ready to Gaius is our minute. man. Maniple channels. Let's go aggressive. So we have to do quite a bit of damage to get them into range. Double defense. We almost have cavalry max uh, leveled up. We lost 26 to attrition though. Missed both defenses. Lost 22 and 5 morale. Yikes. But they took 25 in attrition. We're really good at making them get, take attrition damage. Not so good at attacking. Oh, 
and they took 40 from attrition. Yes, we finally got an attack in with our infantry. And they took another 18 attrition damage. But we missed a, I don't know what that is. Attack. Is joined. How should we proceed? Mm. Let's go Pila. They already lose 40 to attrition. We missed both of our attacks. Again. But they take another 21 attrition. So this is working well. We just have to stand there and they die. And we defend with support. Support's doing well for defense. They lost 73 from that. I didn't know they could lose from defending. When we were defending, I mean. And we hit! Support attack! Loot range goes up. But we lost 35 to attrition. Defend again with support. They lose 49. And we're within scatter range. Another missed opportunity to attack, though. One of our manipoles is about to break. Hmm. I think we just limit casualties now. Let's go with lead by example. We lost 59. Oof. But we defended. Oh no, I better not miss the range. We lost 48 to... Um. But we got a defense! Another 21 to attrition. Missed the, missed the defense. Lost 87. Still within scatter range though. It took 40 attrition. Missed another attack. God. We can't attack where shit. 39 to attrition we lost. Double defense. No counter attack damage, it looks like. Victory! Victorious! Celebrate again. Or we could get uh, manpower. We're at, our morale is quite high, 32. So let's go, let's get 80 to 160 uh, fan power. I, that's not changing though. So I guess we recruits. Whoa, someone died? Did I lose two people? I, Alice and Manius died. Holy shit. But Gaius uh, completely leveled up. Got two. Uh, got two new traits. Whoa. Nine Tanari, five slaves, 18 rations. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to recruit some more people now. Um. Okay, so let's go to base. A summons from Luculus. Luculus, you are riding along a lightly wooded path. Nothing but bird song and the rustling of small animals among the brush to break the silence surrounding you. Then, a mere few paces to your left, a lightly armored Roman soldier steps out from behind a fallen tree, who is remarkably well hidden. Sorry to startle you, Legate. I knew you were headed past here, and I wanted to challenge myself a little. It gets boring on the road. Throw him one denarius. Well, you seem to have passed the challenge. Shoot yourself to a glass of wine at the next tavern you pass. I don't appreciate being ambushed. It won't happen again. The consul sent me to tell you that there has been a development. Thrakia has joined the war on the side of Mithridatus. Uh-oh. You are to meet the consul at the camp of Legio Prima Italica to discuss our course of action. That's terrible news. This will greatly imperil our supply lines. That is how the Consul sees it as well. 
If you'll permit me to say so, with the two of you leading our legions, I believe we have nothing to fear from Thrakia or from Mithridates. If that'll be all, I will take my leave once more. Wale legate. Wale. Return to Luckyless War Camp to discuss how Thrakia will be dealt with. Is that all the way back to here? Messenger has arrived from Luckyless asking you to meet him at, in his war camp as soon as you're able. It seems Thrakia has joined the war on Mr. Diddy's side. Okay, let's go back. Oh my god, I do have to go all the way back. Yikes. I guess I'll I'll explore this area uh, as I'm heading back to there. Let's still go back to camp, though. New recruits are going to be available. And Bestia would have found some good ones, hopefully. After struggling quite a bit, I'm, I'm starting to get the gameplay loop now a little bit better. Salve. Salve. Ooh, look at this guy. Senius Polius Septimus. 150. Level four. Level five. Oh, and it's an archer, dude. Freeloader logistics specialization. Oh, no, no, no. It's not. Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's not his specialization. We still haven't found an archer specialization. They're not, they're not even in like the stuff that can be uh, unlocked. OK, hold on. So what do we have so far? So we got, I can't remember what this is, support, horses, and infantry. I can't even see what that is. Oh, that's uh, Princep. Yeah. Okay. Um... Oh, okay. So that isn't that isn't one of these things. That's not the specialization. That actually is the class. And we need a logistician, anyways. So this is the perfect recruit. As a uh, Canturian, right? That's commanders. Cool. And then, so we're missing artillery and whatever this is. Maybe I should wait so that we, we can round out our commanders. I don't know. I guess I will. I'll just wait to see if I can find that combination. I think we're good otherwise. I'll save my money. Which reminds me. Let me go check out what, uh, what the deals are here. So, Denari is scarce. Medicine is abundant. Even though they... <laughs> wait. Medicine is abundant, but they don't have any. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to do any trade. I was going to trade for some gold, but I guess it's not a good idea right now.
At your service. I guess I don't need to go to the tents Sound themselves, ready. right? I could just open this. I kind of like running around, though. Uh, feel, I don't know, it feels like I'm more in the world. The barracks. Bestia, we could leave there again. Or Dinosaur. Oh, that's Constitution. It's this that I'm looking for. Bath. Do I need to put anyone in the bath? Doesn't look like it. We've got upgrades. Armory. Yes. And I can do Palisades. Increase the Legion's strength when the outpost is attacked by 5%. Upgrade to increase the strength bonus to 10%. That's lumber mill. Do any of these re require lumber mills? The workshop. Leave a Praetorian here to unlock new level one battle stratagems or craft one uh, one use stratagems. Upgrade to unlock level two stratagems. This is items. Okay. Well, I think I would like to save up. So we're looking for an iron mine next. Stratagems would be good. It's an important part of the game, eh? Like the, the legion battles. I guess Mr. Hop's going to stay in there. Oh yeah, I could send like... I should... Hold on, I should check this out. Because I could send someone from here over to command, like Seb. No, he doesn't have the uh, artillery. Although, he could unlock it. Oh! Rasuzu has the two things that we need. There we go. So then should I recruit someone new? I could recruit Didius, who is also a recruiter, which would be good. And is a duelist, which is fine. Okay, let's hire a Marcus Didius Grenelis. And this is going to be a reality -o. Reality O. Welcome to the crew, Reality. Oh, I don't think I saved it. <laughs> reality O. Enter. Let's see if we got better armor. This is definitely better. Oh yeah, the assassin's garb that we got. Not going to be better. Ooh, this is pretty good, though. Seb's not fighting. I did make him a commander, right? But he's still here. Interesting. Should I give uh, Bestia this helmet? Definitely. This assassin dagger is better. Regular dagger, regular dagger. Critical chance plus 
Okay, this is better. Just constantly going to be uh, changing equipment on people, eh? Okay, well, that's definitely better. Also, I should equip a secondary weapon. A spear. Okay. Please, excuse me. I'm going to go to see if I can replenish more items, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I've got all of them. Oh, do I have uh, unspent points? Yes! Bestia. 40% damage against enemy leaders. Yes. Cool. Focus Master plus one focus maximum. Marathon. Applies inexhaustible to self. Movement is unlimited until the character stops moving. Cool. I think we're good then. Oh yeah, uh, the armory though. Where's the armory? Ah, here we go. There's our boy. There's our boy Sextus. Are we? When you are we, Legate? It's good you came by. That armor Kalida is walking around in. It may have done a good job concealing her womanly attributes, but she'd be better off in something that fits her shape. Let me know if you'd like me to look at that. I'm glad to see you decided to move in with us. The consul thought it would be best to send me over and help you out. Oh, look at this. Sickle blade. What do you have in mind for Kalida's armor? I reckon we can make big improvements with small adjustments. I have a bit of salvage lying around that we can use. Start by stripping it down to its component parts. Then we can take a look at what's left and plan the work. I have come across this strange blade. Have you ever seen it's like? Let me take a look. Hmm. This is certainly unusual. If I were you, I would visit the Temple of Apollon in the region of Musia. There is a smith of sorts there, known to have a great knowledge of rare artifacts. He might be able to identify this for you. It's good. We could hit that up on the way back. Wale Ferrari, I'll leave you to work. A better Lorica. Dismantle Kalida's armor from your inventory. I can do that. Is she wearing the other armor? Okay, so... Kalida. Kalidus' old Hamata armor. Or Hamata 1. Use the armory to schedule the crafting of a scout Hamata for Kalida. Ah. Leave a Praetorian here to craft Praetorian items of tier 1. Upgrade to unlock tier 2 items. No current project. Oh, yeah, I was going to leave Realio to recruit. Do I need someone to recruit, though? I don't know. And is there anyone that's good in the armory? Doesn't look like it. I guess that's someone that we can look to recruit. Or maybe it doesn't matter. I'll leave Seb to, to the armory. Awe legate. Use the armory to schedule the crafting. Oh, this right here.
The armory is where you can craft new equipment or tactical items and upgrade or modify existing equipment. Settle in for a quick tour. This list contains all schematics you know. We know a lot. Uh, you'll find these schematics as you explore the world, and they'll show up in the crafting tab of your inventory where you can right-click to learn them. Materials required to craft your selected items. This game has crafting too! <laughs> Is there anything this game doesn't have? Um, the materials required to craft your selected items are displayed around this ring. You can find crafting materials by exploring the game world and looting enemies, or by dismantling items you don't need. The item preview displays the expected properties of the item you have selected. Most stats are randomized upon crafting, as indicated by the range ranges shown. The skills on a crafted weapon are unknown until you craft, but you can see the maximum number it will have. The queue. Each time you decide to craft an item, it will be added to this queue. The items in the queue will be crafted one by one as long as you have a Praetorian assigned to the armory. Cool. Let's try the Scout Hamata. And the Scout Hood. Oh. Pristine Dagger. Can roll up to one weapon skill. Chosen randomly from a pool of possible skills. Sounds good. What else do I want to craft? Holy crap! <laughs> so much stuff! Wow. Okay. Critical damage, 2 to 4, all just says 3 to 4. Random, 2 random affixes. Cool. Critical chance, all resistance is 4 to 5. Movement minus 3, all resistance is 8 to 11. I'm trying to craft a bunch of different stuff. Three weapon skills. Pristine sword. Okay. Four hours. Okay. I okay. And I can upgrade. So I can craft tactical items too. You can upgrade your favorite items so they keep up with the item progression. Upgrading an existing item works a lot like crafting a new one, except that it happens instantly. The upgraded item's stats will be improved, but a weapon's skill will not change. Cool. Now that you've learned the schematic for an affix, you may be able to modify one of your items. Select the item you want to customize here to see your options. God, okay. The item and each of its existing affixes are displayed here. Higher quality items have more affixes. You can only change one affix per item. Click on the affix you want to replace to open the drop down with your options. Very cool. Extra piercing damage minus two. That seems bad. <laughs> Why would I want minus two piercing damage? Because slashing damage applies bleed. Oh, I see. Because I'm not changing anything there, so I can't modify it. Bludgeoning resistance. Cool. Okay. Extra bludgeoning damage. One. Plus zero. <laughs> Even's bad. Can't change anything on that. Maybe the unique ones you can't change? Oh, you can.
Okay. I might want to get rid of some of this stuff then. Guess I don't need a bunch of... Let's just do like one helmet. Can I move these over? Oh, that's too bad. Grass some throwing knives and some caltrops. Guess I don't have this. Maybe I don't have the stuff to craft this. Yeah, why can't why can't I craft this? I just don't have the materials. Okay. I love it. That's fun. Was it costing me money? I think it did. I, I didn't really notice the. I think I'm not. I think I'm going to save for uh, this workshop. This would be good too. Farm. I need a farm for that. So I'm looking for um, a mine and a farm. Pass the time until Kaladu's new armor is finished. No, that won't be a problem. Let's actually change our quest. We're going to head back. I haven't even seen Troas yet. We can continue pacifying stuff as we head back. Let's dispatch a legion to get that uh, Cory. Um, and then I wanted to go by the temple, right? Oh yeah, that was for the sickle or the scythe or whatever. I don't really need the well. I think I will go to the observatory, though. Kalida has been healed. Good. Wait, wait, wait. I missed what that was. Scout hood ready to be collected. Cool. Sexus's chest. Discovered treasure. Bunch of other stuff. What is that? Yeah, hold on. Let's do that. I'm not going to hit up this stuff yet because we're going to head down to Mishia. can't go here oh pfft. that's the wrong place oh is it because the legion's not there we don't actually have the camp set up oh okay that makes sense wherever the legion is that's where the camp is it's not like we leave behind camps everywhere enemies on the move your party is riding through another of these poor yet idyllic villages they dot every part of the landscape of Asia Minor. Just as you're turning onto a pass sneaking out of the village and away into the mountains, an older couple respectfully wave for you to stop. In a low voice, they introduce themselves as locals loyal to Rome. They're trying to be discreet because of their uh, fellow villagers are on the side of Mithridates in the war. From their neighbors, the couple has learned that an army raised from locals by one of Mithridates' generals is marching to attack Nicaea. What you are told, you surmise that the army is already underway. Reach your destination within a day's time. You have little opportunity to prepare, but perhaps you can find a way to slow them down. 
I can pay the local contacts through the region 200 denarii to spread fear and hostility towards the enemy army to reduce their morale. I don't have a lot of cash left. Assign a Praetorian to round up some league denarii and harry the enemy with hit and run tactics all the way uh, to their destination, slowing them down. Uh, let's do that. We'll send... I've got two support, so I'll send uh, Sergeant Lance. Sergeant Lance discusses the plan with you in great detail before he mounts up and sets off down a dusty path in the direction of the nearest scout outpost to recruit some help for the dangerous task you've entrusted him with. Nikaya is already well defended by the Legion garrison there. Hopefully your preparations will help your Legionari maintain control of the region. Ah, so there's an attack coming to there. Your strength is good though. 51 minutes, we're almost done that. When is it coming? We don't even see it yet. Sergeant Lance will return for a mission to prepare the Legion for an enemy attack. Doesn't say there either, eh? Oh, that we need, uh... Can't bring Seb. Uh... Ayo... Caradoc. Not that it's really gonna matter, because I don't think we're gonna be getting attacked. Nice if we could choose where we... Um, spawn. Oh, maybe I should be talking to these guys. It's good to see you again. What do you seek? Sickle blade. I found this richly decorated sword blade, but it's old and broken. I was wondering what you might make of it. Oh, oh, l let me see. This is most remarkable. This outcropping at the end and the markings here i believe that what you hold in your hands is nothing less than the blade of the legendary sword harpe what do the legends say of it it once belonged to the great hero perseus he was said to be descended from the titan Cronus, and with this weapon he slew medusa the gorgon you're telling me this is the weapon of a god hardly but it does seem like a fine blade I knew as soon as I saw it, there was something magical about this weapon. What amazing fortune that I found it. The sword that slew Medusa in my hand is only right. I must be chosen by the gods. Yes. What its powers are, or even if it has any, I cannot <laughs> say. But I do believe this was used by Perseus. That alone makes it a unique and valuable relic. I'm glad I'm able to uh, choose the, <laughs> the arrogant choice, because my character's definitely arrogant. Could you help me reforge it? I cannot. I am unworthy of such a task. You must find a smith with a full lifetime of experience to restore this weapon to its former glory. However, I will be most pleased to show you how it was originally shaped. Here, let me draw you the schematics. Wally. Very cool. Crafting schematic in the open store. Ah, okay. So we'll be able to do that with our blacksmith. Very cool. Guess we'll just head straight back now. Is there anything else we want to do? Oh, the Legion. Still heading back from the mission, okay. What else is there to get? Also, I can upgrade... 
Yeah, I can upgrade stuff. Enter outpost to build. Okay, forget it. There's some missions here. Get some slaves. Hunting grounds. For food. Oh, I do need cash. Let's do that. We just ransacked a village. That's great. So more places for food. Oh. Kizikos is, uh, they don't, there's not 300,000 anymore. <laughs> so let's, let's do that. I guess their army moved on. Maybe they moved on because of the, uh, the agreement was broken. We've been assigned to visit Weetrix's camp tomorrow and train their Scorpius teams. Be sure to bring them some Posca as a peace offering, so they don't just see you as some know-it-all who thinks you're better than them. I hmm. wonder what Posca is. Who's here? Case your okay. service, Lagarde. I'm glad you could get here so quickly. Uh, so Thrakia has finally joined the war. And not on our side. This is Mithridatus' response to our actions against Mercia and Troas. He's showing us that he knows how to divide and conquer just as well as we do. Somehow, he has turned the citizenship of Thrakia against Rome, led by a wealthy Lanista called Damianos. Who is this Damianos? He owns the best and most respected gladiator school in the world. His gladiators are sold to Rome, where they typically have long and successful careers. He has also been known to use his gladiators as a sort of private militia to enforce the laws of Rome throughout Thrakia. Mithridates must have promised him something big in return for his loyalty. That much is clear. Damianos is a businessman, first and foremost. If he believes he would do better business under Mithridates, well, great risk brings great profit. Do you believe Damianos is the instigator of this treachery? From what I know of the man, and based on what my spies report from Thrakia, Damianos holds great sway over the mercantile and political classes there. They fear and admire him in equal parts. I am certain he is responsible. Then I believe we should remove Damianos from the picture. You think Thrakia could be brought back in line without him? Hmm. Indeed. I think you're right. You will have to go and deal with him yourself. If Elagatis shows up at his doorsteps and demands to see him, he will not be able to turn you away. Bring your gladiator friend. And make no mistake, what Damianos has done is treason. If you need to take his life, you are free to do so. Wally! I think we'll probably take his life. What do you guys think? I guess we'll see. 